We all know that Ichiro is the god of base hits in the National Baseball League, but he's got another trick up his sleeve and that is his laser beam throws. Let's take a look at one of his awesome moments. In the fifth, and a high pop-up into right field. Tagging his barfield from third, they're gonna try and score him. Here's Ichiro's throw to the plate, and he is out! Hit the ball is out! We can extend an interesting question with this. When Ichiro catches the ball, what angle should he send it back such that it reaches home base with the most efficiency? I used projectile motion and a bit of high school trigonometry to derive a formula for this angle. The formula looks like this. Where V0 is the initial velocity of the pitch, D is the distance to home base, G is the gravitational field, and theta is the most efficient angle. If the ball is thrown at an angle theta with the initial speed of V0, this is the path that it will travel. In order to ensure the most efficiency, we have to make sure that the ball doesn't undershoot or overshoot. This means that when the ball lands, its horizontal displacement is exactly D. So we're going to set V0 cosine theta times T to be D, and the, the Y displacement to be 0. So solving for TF, we get that TF is equal to D over V0 times secant of theta. Factor, out, uh, factor the y of t, and we can see that the v0 sine theta equals 3 over 2 times the final time. Plugging in the d over v0 secant theta, and we get that v0 sine theta equals g d over 2 v0 cosine of theta. So simplifying the expression, we get that 2 v0 squared times sine theta times cosine of theta equals 3 d. And we can use the identity that sine of 2 theta equals 2 sine cosine to simplify. And so we get a sine of 2 theta equals g d over v0 squared. To solve for theta, we have to include the inverse trig functions. In this case, the inverse sine, denoted as inverse sine of x. It outputs the only angle, alpha, from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, such that sine of alpha equals x. Taking the inverse sine on both sides, we get that theta is our 1 half times the inverse sine of gd over v0 squared. And we have the formula that I showed you in the beginning. Using it, every outfielder will be able to know precisely what angle to throw the baseball in so that it reaches home base without bouncing. Now let's see this formula in an actual scenario. Point O is the catcher, point B is home base. Here I put the formula for the pitch angle with D, G, and V0 as the parameters. G is the gravitational field roughly 9.8 meters per second squared. If, if I fix the distance to be, say, 70 meters, and move the initial speed slider, you can see the angle of the pitch changing. For instance, if the initial speed is 41.6 meters per second, which is around 93 miles per hour, then this angle would be 11.68 degrees. But it is quite apparent that every outfielder has a different arm strength, thus a different initial speed, and the distance also varies. If the catcher throws the ball back at 44 meters per second, or 98.2 miles per hour, then the pitch angle becomes 10.3 degrees. If we increase the distance to 80 meters, the pitch angle becomes 11.94 degrees. Using this formula, every outfielder can know exactly how steep their throw should be, so that their ball reaches home base the fastest. As you can see, this is the marvelous thing about math. If you know how to use the material properly, it can help you solve difficult real-life problems with high efficiency. It fills people with excitation, even a bit of romance. Just like the love of real life, you don't even know why, but you just can't get enough of her. It is impossible for you to shake this feeling off.